So I find it funny that it literally took my girlfriend to let me know, like, hey, your libido's off, your emotions is all over the place. Like, maybe you should probably think about what you're doing. I know you take a lot of subs, uh, supplements, but uh, something's not adding up here. What's going on, guys? It's Zinni here again, coming from Holy Kinetics. We're here to talk about a very particular product called Gorilla Shroom from the Gorilla Mind Company. So if you guys follow the Gorilla Mind Company, you should know that the Gorilla Shroom product has just been updated with a new updated formula for maximum performance is what they say. For the sake of disclaimer, within this video, we're gonna be talking about my experience with the old formula. So not the new updated formula, which has an updose of the lion's mane mushroom. That is the main component within the Gorilla Shroom product that we're going to be talking about today. And this is also the fact that these are my experiences coming from the old formula. OK, so I'm just trying to make that clear so people understand we are not talking about the updated formula. We are talking about the old formula. So do keep that in mind when you look at comparisons, because we're going to be comparing both doses. And just to give a little bit of background, I'm actually a big fan of the Gorilla Mind products. I use all their pre-workouts. I use a lot of their pump products. I also am a partaker of their Sigma Natural Testosterone Booster pills that they do supply. So I'm a big fan of Derek and a big fan of his line. But just with this product in particular, it doesn't seem to sit right with me when it came to my experiences is now when we talk about this updated formula. So we're just going to be going down the list here of ingredients. So the first two ingredients that you're going to see right at the top is vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. We're not really going to break those down because a lot of studies have already been proven the proper use of vitamin B6 and B12 within the body. Good for energy levels, good for overall immune system. It's actually good too for also keeping your energy levels up and maintaining baseline levels and just naturally without the use of any other substances on top. So we're really not going to get too deep when it comes to that. We're going to get deep into the actual active ingredients that make Gorilla Shroom the product that it is. So the first active ingredient that we're going to be talking about today is lion's mane. So lion's mane is dosed at a 15, 1500 milligrams. OK, so let's actually break down the ingredients here and the effects of what lion's mane is. So what's lion's mane? Lion's mane is a type of mushroom that comes from the ancient Chinese and ancient Ayurvedic, te uh, ancient Ayurvedic medicine. OK, a lot of times lion's mane has been given this big hype as a fountain of youth type of mushroom. OK, does a lot of things in improving cognitive function. It does other various things uh, help to minimize neuro uh, what they call neurogenerative neurodegenerative <laughs> neurodegenerative diseases within the body. Things such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Most mushrooms actually contain two active ingredients called beta glucans and polysaturides. If I am butchering that, I am terribly sorry. But those are the two main ingredients that are within mushrooms that help for their immune boosting effects, helping the body to fight off infections and diseases. These same polysaturides and beta glucans also help with improving heart health, helps with reducing inflammation in the body, and the fibers within mushrooms themselves also help for better digestion. So, so far, so good. This seems like a very good product that we're looking at here when it comes to just overall health and benefits within the body. Next ingredient that we're going to be talking about here is the cordyceps mushroom. Again, another ancient Chinese mushroom that has been used for ages as a form of a natural holistic form of medicine coming from the mushroom family. This mushroom in particular helps with improving athletic performance, boosting energy and vitality, also enhances the immune system and also helps the body fight off respiratory diseases and respiratory health. So it is a very good, again, very good mushroom product. The next following green that we're going to be talking about here is ashwagandha. So ashwagandha, I'm a big fan of the use of ashwagandha especially for males in today's time because it helps as a form of natural testosterone boosting now when i granted when i say natural testosterone boosting let me give you a little bit of a background of what i mean by that all that natural testosterone boosters really do is just lower shbg so what is shbg that is sexual hormone binding globulin within the body so if you want to give a quick excerpt of what this means in layman's terms imagine your body 
as highways. The sexual hormone binding globulins or SHBG is pretty much cars that are in your body. They have free testosterone that is flowing within the body. They flow within these SHBGs to allow for testosterone to flow within the rest of the body. So what natural testosterone boosters do is lower the amount of cars or lower the amount of SHBG within the body and or lower the amount of cars that are on that highway. So theoretically what that does, if there's less cars on the highway, there's more space on the highway, right? So if there's less SHBG, then there's more free testosterone to freely move within the body. But no natural testosterone is actually being boosted in a sense. So in that regard, ashwagandha is a great supplement to add in addition to anybody's supplement regimen if you're going to be adding it and partaking in it. What it does, it helps very well with reducing stress and anxiety, improves brain function, boosts the immune system as well, increases physical endurance, and also helps for you to get better sleep. It's also been associated with raising your libido, helping with energy and vitality overall, and it also has been associated with use of helping with ed or helping with erectile dysfunction so again a product that is very very good within this line and ashwagandha in itself is a very good supplement to just add on to the daily next ingredient is the reishi mushroom again another ancient chinese mushroom excuse me chinese mushroom that has been in the game for quite some time um it also helps with reducing stress improving the immune system anti-inflammatory effects, liver function, improved heart health, and all of this. What you're going to start to notice is a lot of these ingredients are stacking up on top of each other. So what that does is create a synergic effect where it's gonna boost those effects within the body because you're having a simultaneous mix of all these ingredients at once, okay? And at the same time, I feel that that is partly the reason why I had the experience that I had with this product next ingredient is the mayatake mushroom again if i am butchering this i am completely sorry same thing improve immune system anti-inflammatory effects improves the heart health reduces the risk of cancer all these good things that are coming out of these mushrooms the next ingredient is yerba mate again another very good product when it comes to energy it's it's been known as a good substitute and a better and a healthier substitute to your regular coffee or your regular caffeine use helps increase energy helps increase mental alertness physical performance improves the digestive system helps with releasing heart help and also helps with antioxidant pro- uh, antioxidant properties within the body L-theanine is the next ingredient, an amino acid that helps with stress and anxiety management, also helps to improve sleep quality, also going to be helping to increase focus and concentration, also can reduce symptoms of PMS, so that's also very good for our ladies out there to be able to take care of themselves and helps to reduce symptoms of ADHD. So again, another very good product. And last but not least, black pepper extract which has been known to improve digestion, help to uh, anti-inflammatory effects in use with curcumin and or turmeric. It actually boosts the effects of turmeric's ability to fight off inflammation within the body and fight off infections and fight off um, any type of sickness within the body for the overall immune system. So again, very good products. And all these products are placed on top of each other. And as I've said, a lot of these ingredients are just stacking up on top of each other. Okay. So again, that's just something to be mindful of. And as far as the ingredients that are within the old Gorilla Shroom formula, we're just going to read it off just like this. The vitamin B6 is at 10 milligrams. Vitamin B12 is at 100 micrograms. Lion's mane is at 1500 milligrams. Cordyceps mushrooms is at 1000 milligrams. Ashwagandha is at 500 milligrams. Reishi mushroom is at 500 milligrams. Mayatake mushrooms is at 250 milligrams. Yeramade is at 200 milligrams. L-theanine is at 200 milligrams. Black pepper extract is at 10 milligrams. So there you go. That's the old formula that we're going to be breaking down today. Let's go into the efficacious doses of what is good and possible for the human body to be able to take. So when I say efficacious, what I mean is this is the amount of that product that allows for it to be efficacious or usable within the body okay so we're talking about at a level where the dosage of what you're receiving is applicable for what it needs to do and the qualities that it's trying to give you to the body okay it's not underdosed it's not overdosed this is just a round the ballpark of an efficacious amount for your average body okay 
Now, again, I'm just going to be reading these efficacious amounts off. OK, this is what research has been shown to prove what is effective within the body. Lion's mane mushrooms. The doses can be anywhere from 500 to 2000 milligrams a day, which is a standardized amount. For the cordyceps mushroom is anywhere from 500 to 3000 milligrams a day for a standardized amount. Ashwagandha is anywhere from 300 to 500 milligrams for your standardized amount. Reishi mushrooms, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day for your standard uh, standardized amount. Mayatake is 500 to 1,500 milligrams a day standardized. Yerba mate, one to four cups per day of yerba mate is, pos is around the ballpark of your natural consumption. Your average cup of yerba mate is going to be anywhere from 100 to 200 milligrams of that dosage of yerba mate standardized. L-theanine, 100 to 400 milligrams of it standardized black pepper extract five to 20 milligrams per day also known as piperine okay so again standardized amounts so the updated formula has an up dose of the lion's mane mushrooms to a 3.2 grams of it so what does that mean in micrograms that is 3200 milligrams okay so when you hear that that is roughly 1200 milligrams over the standardized amount of the lion's mane okay so again keep that in mind with this updated formula of this product now we got all of that nerd stuff out of the way let's talk about my experience okay so i started taking this product roughly maybe seven or eh, maybe around six months ago just to try it out and just to see i wanted to try to find a nether supplement for energy level and for just productivity and focus to add to my regimen um, for the sake of me always having to work overnight. I work overnight shifts and that is very draining on the body. And I usually use my time doing my overnights to produce this content right here and to work on various things, do my video editing, also to, also to do my regular job that I'm also doing. So I wanted to find a supplement that didn't necessarily increase my use of caffeine because my caffeine use is already through the roof just for me taking pre-workout and also taking drinking energy drinks drinking a ton of coffee dopamine receptors is drained out stress and cortisol levels is through the roof so i'm just trying to find a product that would help balance me out and also help for me to produce more natural energy within the body to help me be more sustained and just increase my longevity within my body now when i first started taking the product i took it just like how i was instructed you take six capsules a day usually three three separated into two different times so normally with how i would do it i would usually take either three in the morning and take three right before i go to work my shift usually started at 11 i would usually take it at around 10 30 to, as i'm heading to work so that was how my dosages were separated in my use when i first started taking the product I mean, it seemed fine. I did notice a difference when it came to me taking it. First, nausea, because you're always going to get nausea from a mushroom for the most part. Because at the end of the day, what is a mushroom? A mushroom is a fungus. You're adding fungus within the body. So there's going to be some slight nausea. You know, it's just like if you were taking psychedelic shrooms. OK, you, what is the first effect that you're going to feel within the body? You're going to be nauseous as hell. And that's just and this is how it is. So I will say that was one uh effect that i was not a big fan of when it came to this supplement but i did notice a change within my focus within my mental clarity and when i needed to do things i was able to do them and get things done at a rather decent level me working overnights you know if for anybody that has worked overnights give or take around that one to three time frame you're bogging out you know what i mean it's it's natural to be bogging out when I would take the supplement, I noticed I would be fine. You know, I would make it past that little push of that bog out time and be able to get work done. I'm working efficiently as if I'm operating during the daytime. So I just found that very great to be able to, to deal with. And it just helped overall with just getting stuff done. You know, it's a product that I was using to get stuff done. I did not take it every day but I did take it periodically throughout the week because my overnight shifts is anywhere from five to six times a week. So if you can imagine five to six times, five to six days out of the week, I'm taking the dosages as it was, as it was told of me to take. Now, also at the time when I started taking the supplement, I actually started talking with, talking with this girl, me and her actually, or, you know, we, she became my girlfriend. 
Um, we're still together to this day. Great. Uh, but at the time, around two months later of me taking this supplement, when me and her became sexually active with each other, she noticed, you know, that my libido was was good. I've always had great libido, but at the same time, it was hard for me to be able to go rounds. And one thing that I've always known about my libido is I can go rounds very easily. You know, it does not take me long. I don't need a long recovery time. I mean, I'm only 27 years old, so I should be able to have good libido and go rounds, you know, naturally. Um, my libido should be operating fine. But there was difficulties in me sometimes being able to hold an erection after my first round. And there will be times when if we were active with each other, I could literally only go about two rounds max. So she just found that kind of awkward. Now, at the time, she thought maybe that was just my normal libido then. Now, let's go down four months later, okay, when I stopped taking the supplement. Now, when you look at my libido, she brought it to my attention that my libido has changed. My libido is where, like, I can literally go rounds and I'm fine. And my recovery time is pretty much like that. If, as long as I'm not tired and as long as I'm not, like, too stressed out or too drained within my body, I can recover like that. So she noticed the difference within my body at that time. What brought it to our attention to even make this video and to bring this fact up was ryan russo again go follow russo ryan russo lifts at youtube and instagram great guy to be following to get all your material we like to call him the lord of the dark side he likes to bring knowledge and harm mitigation to the sarms and gear community and he's also just a fellow creator within this community that has great knowledge to give he recently put a video talking about his experience with the updated formula and his experience was horrible OK, he said that he felt uh, symptoms of depersonalization, derealization. He also felt symptoms of anxiety increase. He felt that his bipolarness within his body was starting to get out of whack. He also noticed that his libido literally dipped down to the point where he couldn't even really get an erection with his chick that he's been with for 10 years. OK, so I find that just very funny that an updated uh, updated dosage of this in less than a two weeks time you're getting all of these symptoms and on top of that you're getting all of these symptoms and you're on cycle and granted he is on a cruise right now but he is on cycle and he's feeling these symptoms so that's really saying something okay with me i was feeling these symptoms naturally right now i'm natural haven't done anything the only uh, all any type of adding is just through supplementation and diet right now so for me to feel those effects from the old formula and he's feeling these effects from the new formula it's saying something in the dosage of how this product is when it responds to the body is 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 just not good after watching his really informative video and his experience i also made a comment on his page and let him know like hey i was taking the same supplement the old uh, formula and I noticed the same thing of what you're talking about my emotions was out of place but it didn't take me to notice it of all people that noticed it it was my girlfriend that let me know that she noticed it because she looked at how I was at that time two months in and now we're seven months later and she's letting me know like hey you know now that you're talking about that product you she asked me, when did you start taking that product? Well, I said, you know, roughly around, you know, a little less than two months when we started talking. She was like, so right around the time when we when we started to be sexually active. And I said, yes, she said, interesting. And then she brought it to my attention, my differences in libido now to then. And it really made me think like, wow, because also at the time, let's do keep in mind, I want to give all the benefactors out there. I was also in a cut. OK, so I was doing a mini cut because I was trying to take pictures and get pictures set up to put on my Instagram. So I'm thinking, you know, when my libido gets off and my energy levels is kind of weird and my emotions is out of place and I'm angry or I snap more. I always associate it with me being on a cut because I'm, you know, lower body fat percentage, 
increases stress and cortisol within the body. So I'm only thinking it's because I'm on a lower body fat percentage that I'm acting like this because that's normal when you're at a lower body fat percentage. Your libido is going to be a little bit out of whack. Your stress is going to go up. Your body fat percentage being so low puts more stress on the overall body. And, you know, that's just a normal thing that we all know within the bodybuilding community that when you're on a cut, you're going to feel like this. And to also state, when I say that my libido was different then to now, like I said, it was hard for me to get it up after a second round. Now I can go, like I said, three or four rounds. And also at that time, there were a lot of stresses and a lot of things that were happening in my life. And I was snapping. Like any issue that was happening, I was snapping. I, I punched that window over there, <laughs> snapping once. You've seen it on camera. I literally just snapped and just boom, just straight freaking hit the window because I was, that, I was that mad. And I didn't understand why I was that mad. Like I, I, I literally thought I was just on a cut and this was just my emotions that how I dealt with. But she has seen me in a lower body fat percentage and she realized it's not the cut that's doing this to you because you didn't go on that heavy of a cut. Yeah, I lost some weight. I lost around, give or take around 15 to 20 pounds. I know how to do a mini cut rather well. Um, but my my attitudes never really changed even when I do mini cuts. So she made me think, could it be that supplement that you're taking? Because I understand you do a lot of biohacking. You do a lot of things on your body to make sure that you're performing optimally. And she knows that I take a, a bunch of supplements. So she brought it to my attention like, hey, maybe you should say something about this product as well, because this is something that it can't just be you. And of course, this could always there's always outliers. OK, there's always going to be outliers when it comes to any product where the single one percent is affected the worst. OK, but there has been correlations with not only just this product, but also lines main overall within the body. So. I just think, and this is just my professional opinion, I'm not a big fan of this product. And I don't think that this product is is safe to take at the dosages that it has, that, that the dosage that it's in. And on top of that, the updated formula, I'm not a big supporter of. I don't think that that's safe to take, especially if you're dealing with stresses in your life. Like, imagine you're taking this supplement and, you know, you're single. Imagine the stresses that you're going to be dealing with. Okay. Thank God that I had a significant other to release some of this emotion to. And nowadays to be able to reflect on this, because I would have just kept going, not realized that it could have been this product that was messing me up. And it's not to say that this product is bad. Okay. But what I am saying is perhaps the mix of ingredients within this product is just not safe. And it's probably a blend that shouldn't be put together. There's just too many stacked ingredients together where it's just too much for the body. It's too harsh on your serotonin. It's too harsh on your dopamine. It's too harsh on the body overall when it comes to your emotions. It's draining. It throws off lethargicness. The same effects of where it's trying to boost, it's actually diminishing because it's too much. So. I just find that really interesting. And again, people in the comments, people that are viewing this, if you've had any experiences when it comes to just lion's mane overall or the reishi mushroom or, uh, or just overall any of these mushrooms at all, or if you have any reviews or understanding of this product right here, please comment in the comments. Let us know what's going on because we're really trying to get this more notice in the community of these issues because when you look up on youtube and you look up all these videos all you got to do is type in lion's mane all you're gonna see is nothing but positive videos okay and what makes it funny is russo's video when he talks about his negative experience with this product and lion's mane overall his monetization was limited so that's even more crazy you know it's like how are you gonna stop giving the community the same qualities of harm mitigation, which is what we're trying to do in this community nowadays. You know what I mean? So it's just very interesting to, to kind of see the impact of what this is. So if you had any experiences, please feel free to make comments in below so that we can be able to talk and we can make a discussion about this and bring and shed more light onto this. Again, this is about harm mitigation. We're not trying to increase more harm on the body by helping the body. 
So all in all, guys, that's my experience with this product right here. Again, I'm still a big fan of the Gorilla Mine Company. I don't plan on switching companies anytime soon. I love their products. I'm still gonna buy their products to this day. I got two tubs of the Gorilla Mode right, right in the back, okay? Like I support their company fully. I just don't support this product right here. I don't think that it's proper and I wouldn't even be shocked that if more notices of this was being brought to Derek's attention, that he would make a disclaimer about it and he would probably pull the product off the market because it probably is just not a proper efficacious dose for the human body. In the end guys, we're gonna end it right here. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please follow the page down below. Also make your comments down below if you had any experiences with that. And with that, we're gonna end it right here. Peace guys.